everybody, I am Jason Abelson. Welcome to Fridays here. Of course, I got the blue on. That means it's bold prediction time. We've got five fights that we're going to go through and give you five predictions. If I don't get four of them right, dire consequences will be paid on Monday. Last week, I had to eat a pepper. Let's hope we don't have to do that again because that was one rancid pepper. We're going to start things off in Belfast, Northern Ireland. It's a unification fight for bantamweight champions. WBA champ Zanet Zakanayev and Ryan Burnett, the IBF champion. This one is a real doozy. Both guys are, are very strong in the ring. Both guys are kind of awkward, but it's Burnett that has so many wrinkles to his game. Zakanayev is not so much awkward, really, but he's a straight-ahead type of fighter. Just brings the pressure, pressure, pressure. Burnett loves that. He's more of a pressure guy, too, but he's very awkward. You know, his stances are awkward. He comes from some crazy angles. He throws a lead right hand that's almost squared up when he throws it. Comes up like a jab. Really a terrific fighter and very, very strong. Like a rock in there. And because of those wrinkles and because of that physical strength, I like Burnett in a unanimous decision to unify the belts at bantamweight. Next, we cross the pond to Jersey. Newark, New Jersey, the Prudential Center. Home of the last quarter final in the World Boxing Super Series cruiserweight bracket. IBF champion Marat Gassiev defending against two-time world champion Christoph Falarczyk. The winner gets Yunair Dordikos in what would be a terrific semifinal. And this one is really interesting. You've got the oldest guy in the competition in Falarczyk going up against the youngest guy in the competition in Gassiev. The age range is, I think, going to be substantial. Because I think you've got a guy who's on the, really, the fading side of his career in Falarczyk versus a guy who's definitely on the rise in Gassiev. But Velarchek, don't let the age fool you. It will be an issue, but he has adapted to where he is in his career. The legs aren't what they used to be. So whereas Velarchek used to be a guy that would move around the ring a lot, off the jab and play off angles, he's more of a stationary guy now, but he gets by on some very sharp counter punches, and he's very wise and crafty inside. He's great in the clinch. Having said all that, I don't think that will be enough to overcome the physical package and strength and speed and angles and fluidity that we see with Marat Gassiev. I like Marat Gassiev to stop Christoph Velarczyk in the eighth round to retain his IBF title and move on in the tournament. Next, we cross state lines from New Jersey to New York, Verona to be exact. The Turning Stone Resort and Casino where we're going to have a great HBO double bill. Well, that boring, fat guy, Drazil Corrales, just lost his WBA 130-pound title. Why? He stepped on the scales weighing 134 pounds. Eventually, he lost half a pound. Drazil, you knew weeks in advance you weren't going to make that weight. Say something. Anyway, that's how he begins his career on HBO, by blowing weight. Would that have saved him from being knocked out by Alberto Mercado El Explosivo? Absolutely not. El Explosivo will indeed explode on a weight drain, Gisele Corrales. I think El Explosivo will knock out Corrales in the ninth round and become the new WBA Super Featherweight World Champion. Staying in Verona, New York, it is the middleweight premiere of reigning WBA Junior Middleweight Champion, Demetrius Boo Boo Andre. He's making the first appearance on HBO as part of his new three-fight contract, taking on this puzzle at middleweight, Alan Tez Fox, Sly Azza, nickname, great nickname, but Alan Tez Fox, six foot five southpaw who fights off the back foot. What are you thinking, Andre? That's the, this is the guy you want to make your, your debut fight on as part of a contract on HBO against the guy who's going to test you to your limits of frustration. I mean, he is an absolute handful. No one wants to fight him. That could be the reason why you have to take the fight because no one wants to fight you either. So. These two guys that no one wants to face are facing each other. Hopefully it turns into something more than just a chess match and a test of endurance for Andre to overcome that physical riddle. That is Fox. I think he'll do it because I think Andre is that good a fighter, but it is going to be a test. I think Fox is a lot different and more troublesome than Willie Nelson was, another tall guy that Andre faced and stopped. It's a whole different puzzle, but again, I think he's good enough to solve it. I like Demetrius Andre via decision win 
on Saturday night. And lastly, we go off to the land of the rising sun, Tokyo to be exact, in a rematch of one of the more controversial fights so far this year, Ryota Murata trying to finally get that WBA mediocre middleweight title around his waist, taking on the man who upset him this past, uh, oh, earlier this year, I can't remember what month. But anyway, uh, Hassam Indam. If you saw the first fight, you thought, boy, Murata did enough to win, did more than enough to win. Well, you would have been wrong because two of the judges were out to lunch and scored that fight for Indam at a 9-3 and 8-4 for Indam whereas the other judge had Murata winning 9-3. to three. So what the hell were these guys watching? I think they saw Murata really struggling with Indam from the outside, throwing punches, but maybe not enough in those judges' eyes. I think he should stick to his game plan, except maybe, you know, get the output going a little bit more. Press the pace a tad more. When he did land, he was stronger, he was more accurate, and he was hurting Indam. I see that trend continuing. I see Murata winning by ninth round knockout to finally get that belt around his waist. So let me know, what'd you think? Was that on point or on track? Leave your comments in our comment section. And of course, your predictions as well. We'd love to know what you think about these fights. If you haven't already subscribed to the best source of news, information, and predictions anywhere, when it comes to the sweet science, what are you waiting for? Get on board and subscribe to BoxCaster. Enjoy the fights, everybody.